Hello Year 10. This video is designed to give you some support with answering longer answer questions for Unit 1.8. Now there'll be some extra guidance to do with Unit 2 with longer answer questions based on algorithms and they're the other type of slightly trickier questions I suppose people could say. When you look at a, an exam paper, this is a little extract of an exam paper, you'll notice that most of the questions are only a couple of marks. So it becomes relatively easy to decode the words in the question and work out what you need to write. Even when there's a, longer, a larger number of marks, like on this question, it's actually made up quite easily of single points going into six different places um, and single answer questions here. So that becomes reasonably easy. You then get slight stress of a three mark question. So being able to take an individual question, understand what describe means and actually answer that question. But that's something which you get quite used to. And then you see things like this. Okay, so single question, and then loads of lines, and then eight marks at the bottom. So the question is, how do you break down how to answer a question like that? Now, we've given you a little bit of guidance in the uh, information for your, last, for your uh, task. So you've got a little question here to try and answer in the same way. Okay, it's eight mark questions, similar, similar way. And what we're looking at is the idea of how to break down the question into different aspects so you can answer that. Now, some of the questions actually give you some guidance. In fact, our little example question here um, that we've given you to look at gives you some structure. So it gives you some things to talk about. So that immediately breaks the number of marks down. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. The first thing to do is to is to do a bit of highlighting, really, of the of the question, and just make sure that we are aware of the key points. Master Movie Rentals (MMR) have several stores within the UK and would like to set up an online digital movie streaming service in other countries and around the world. So the the, the scenario is we've got a, a company that wants to branch out and basically do some online streaming discuss some of the legal and cultural issues they may face when offering this service in countries such as, but not limited to, China, the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, and India. Now, this question is an interesting one because it actually is being fairly specific about particular countries. And one thing that sometimes concerns students with these kind of questions is, is it possible that you might not have the sort of cultural knowledge yourself to be able to answer the question? I have to say, I think in, in a real OCR exam, they would probably steer themselves away from being this specific. But for this example, it's perfectly okay. And I think most of us know what goes on in terms of um, web blocking and stuff in China. The certain rules uh, that exist in life in um, the United Arab Emirates down in the Middle East are ones which hopefully you're reasonably aware of. Most questions that are asked in this section tend to be about hospitals and schools and businesses and shops and things like that. So you're more likely to get a question like that. The one thing to bear in mind with all exam questions across all subjects is that you're in the same boat as everyone else of your age. So as long as you've got a reasonable general knowledge compared to the average 15, 16 year old, you should be in reasonable shape. If a question is particularly tricky, everyone will have weaker answers on that question and so it won't make a huge difference. Now with these large amounts of spaces the key thing is to break it down and I'm just going to pop into kind of my my OneNote pencil mode to simulate what you might do with your pencil in the exam and what I would do in this case is to think about the two different aspects here and say right well at the beginning of this question I'm going to be looking at the idea of legal aspects and I'd be looking to give myself a few um, points there and then somewhere around here, I'd want to make sure that I head down into the cultural at about that kind of point, because that immediately really takes these eight marks and splits that into four and four. OK, once you've got a basic structure there, you can start to go through and produce your answer. And it's perfectly OK in computer science exams to use headings and bullet points. I'm going to use some headings. I'm probably not going to do too many bullet points for this answer. As I've noted, I think, on the example, if your handwriting is particularly big, you're going to need to go onto additional pages. You're not going to be able to fit it into the space. If you have tiny handwriting, all right, try and make your handwriting a bit bigger for exams. But, you know, don't assume that everybody has got to fill up the same amount of space. That's not true. Okay, so let's have a little go here. So legal aspects, 
Most countries have legal controls over content in movies that's offensive due to sexual, violent or other issues. Some countries have more strict laws on violent and sexual content such as India and UAE. And China has specific controls on content that criticizes the authorities. Now notice in this aspect, we've looked at the fact that there are legal controls in all countries and then gone more specific. So it's very important when you're writing um, any argument to try and head in a particular direction to tell a story. And in this case, we're basically talking about the norm in the world, which obviously this company is going to be dealing with, compared to the specifics in the individual countries, which is obviously potentially going to cause them a problem. So cultural issues. Countries such as UAE have very strict cultural norms in their society especially related to the depiction of other religious beliefs and things like the consumption of alcohol. This is enforced with content blocking. Other countries, such as China, have blocked content from being officially accessed within the country, although there are ways around this, such as some social media and media streaming platforms that are not government approved or checked. The view of life in different cultures is considered a danger of diluting their own culture. Now, with this particular answer, you'll see that there's a mismatch between the legal and cultural issues. And so don't be too worried about having more to say on one particular issue. Unless the question has explicitly broken up the marks, it should be possible to be able to get your marks from different sections. In this particular example, there will be likely to be a kind of considered to be three points here. The issue of the norm in other countries and then looking at the two different aspects of different types of controls in the cultural issues here we're talking about the context right the very strict cultural norms in their society in the uae and then how that's enforced and so there's enough points in these um, statements here to be able to justify um, three marks and five marks for those two sections however it is important to be aware that the mark scheme does require quality of written communication. So if they, as they're reading through, notice what they call obtrusive spelling mistakes. Now that doesn't mean that every single word is precisely spelt correctly, but obtrusive spelling mistakes are ones which are easily noticed. So if you just miswrite something, that's not going to cause you a major problem. But it's important to be conversational. It's important to write your sentences in as good English as you can. The most important thing for computer science structured questions is this idea of a very clear structure, all right? Making sure that you can see it's not just a block of text. There are some underlined words to give some structure. So the task this week then is to come up with a really good answer to this question. And what I'd like you to do is to try and include as much prep as you possibly can. So if you've done some investigation, if you've written some notes, paste those at the end. This can be typed or you can handwrite it on lined paper and then use your phone to take a, a good high quality scan. Recommend the Office Lens app for that because it will give you a better, better quality copy and paste that into OneNote. Okay, the very best of luck with that task. If there's anything in this video which you're not sure about, then you know post back questions by email or through Show My Homework.